Hey guys, today we're making a miniature version of Ever After High's Apple White. Hope you'll enjoy. Before we get started, I just want to address something. On my Dracula tutorial, I got a couple of comments saying I forgot to make her umbrella. I didn't, I chose not to make it, just like I chose not to make Apple White's apple purse and her crown. I first mixed a pale skin tone and started sculpting the head. And if you have any questions about the tools I use when sculpting dolls or these miniature toys, or about baking, please check out my two basics videos for that. After sculpting the first part of the face, I pre-baked, I then added some clay to the jawline and cheeks and baked again. And for the body, I sculpted the torso, the arms and the thighs before pre-baking and then added the hands, the rest of the legs, pre-baked again and added the shoes. You also want to add some clay to the back and you don't really have to be too neat because the hair is going to cover up most of it. For this doll I also chose to make the outfit from clay instead of making it from fabric. You can do it either way but I do feel it's easier to get all those tiny little details using the clay. After baking, use some acrylic paint to paint it. I know these dolls aren't completely accurate, but the heads are about 4mm, so there's not a lot of room to make the facial details and just details in general.
and once you're done, seal with glaze before you add the hair. For the hair, I used the soy fibers I showed you in the video I made about the hair and fur. And the reason why I chose to use this is because it looks really glossy and has a nice blonde color. The only problem is that just like with the other man-made fibers, it really doesn't hold a curl very well. And so she's going to end up having more of a wavy hairdo than the curls. Lastly, I just made a simple bow and then for the hairband, I used acrylic paint. I also made a really simple doll stand by twisting a couple of pieces of wire, stuck those into some clay added liquid clay on top and bake that. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next tutorial.